All right, so this video is going to focus on enhanced IK on a cat. So one of the great things about enhanced IK is how quickly we're able to get everything lined up and positioned. So even though we just only moved our main control object, a lot of maths, math is going on underneath the character to get the legs positioned into the right place. And once again, it's knee based. So you could see as we curl the knee out how the hip is automatically starting to extend itself out in that position. So just by moving the foot over here, we're able to get into another position that works pretty well. So we could drop the body, move the hands out a bit. If we turn Enhanced IK on on both, you can see that it puts itself already in a position so that it's ready to pounce. As we leave it, the pouncing position is automatically nullified. So, Enhanced IK can break the object, but it's something that can automatically be turned on, off, or even find a nice halfway point in between. So if we take Enhanced IK off on this leg, we can see how, how it's automatically positioned, and then we will use our rotations here to control how that part of the cat leg works, which is, I believe, about the heel area. And you can see that everything else is still there, toe tapping, pivoting, swivel. So let's turn the enhanced IK back on. And, and if we move the leg back, and rotate it out a bit. You can see how evenly everything matches up. So we don't have to do that much to get our characters into great positions. Let's bring this up. bring them out and then we'll just bring these in and you could kind of see what we have going here so if we want to make it sleeker we could pop this down a bit Raise these up, push them out. And we still have the option to move the knees. So there's just a lot of animation that would have to have happen that gets automated in a process like this. And if we don't like that, let's rotate this entire thing a little bit. And a great thing is if we look at the world control, so none of what we've done will, will actually break the ability to scale or rotate the character. So that's basically how Enhanced IK works on our cat. And you can see here all the push and, and pulling that occurs. Um, and it just makes everything just a little bit more natural to use.
So now we have the cat coming at an angle, so it's a little bit more dynamic. But that's basically it. Um, just to quickly show you what um, is capable with this sort of rig setup. Um, so as usual, please leave your comments. Let me know what you think, uh, what you think should be added on. Um, as I keep prototyping all of this um, and getting it to a much uh, lighter rig and setup. So thanks a lot, and I'll catch you in the next video.